All right, we're here in EVE Online doing the final mission in the Making Mountains and Molehills career chain. Um, this time around, we're going to be producing a bad, uh, Bantam uh, through a blueprint copy. Uh, and in return, we're going to be getting the uh, first of the industrial ships for Kaldari, which is the Badger um, Tech 1 uh, basic industrial ship. And this is the Badger Mark II, which is a slightly more advanced version of that. Um, now I'm kind of showing you here um, the blueprint requirements of the Bantam. Um, as you can kind of see, there's quite a bit of minerals required, um, including minerals we don't really currently have, uh, Noxion, just to name one. Um, now a lot of this, if you mined out the previous missions, um, including the last one with the Kernite, you'd have a lot of Isogen and Mexilon um, to produce this. And you can kind of see um, there's two categories of uh, materials uh, for certain blueprints, this being one of them. And um, also I just want to make sure I mention, because of the uh, complexities in producing this, for right now I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And I suggest that's probably a good idea because um, you probably can actually find bantams uh, for cheaper uh, from the market than it would technically cost you to purchase uh, minerals and manufacture yourself. Now, that requires a little bit more math to make sure of, but for the most part, um, it's likely that uh, that is true. And the reason why uh, that's true, and also what has to do with extra minerals, is um, a lot of the ships in EVE Online have been recently getting changes. Uh, they used to be, uh, like they called it tier aside, and getting rid of the ship tiers. It used to be set up where, out of all the, let's say, Kaldari frigates, um, the Bantam was clearly the weakest, uh, only requiring frigates one, and then the Condor would be the second better, and then I believe it, um, I can't remember, the, it would basically go up, uh, I think it was the electronic attack ship was next, and then it was the missile frigate, and then the Merlin, in terms of uh, which one was clearly superior to the other. Now. They basically changed that, giving each ship a more unique role, um, but also kind of putting them on an equal level in terms of footing and usefulness. Uh, that meant that certain ships, like the Bantam, became significantly more powerful than they were before. Also, the uses for it radically changed. It used to be a really crappy mining ship, now in transport, I think. Now it's, uh, I believe, a shield transporter. Um, Anyways, uh, this change meant that um, the developers also increased the material cost because now that these ships were more useful, it would make sense to make them more expensive to produce. Uh, since, you know, if the old, better ships, quote unquote, um, were still more ex way more expensive than the new, more equal ships that used to be crappier, then it would create a lot of imbalance that way. So anyways, the extra materials is basically materials that it takes to produce the item, but materials that aren't counted when you were to reprocess the item. Because generally most things you manufacture, you can reprocess them for pretty much the same minerals you put in. Uh, you know, as long as you have the skills to get 100% return, you'd end up getting all the materials you use to build it, only losing really the time spent putting them together. Now the extra materials, on the other hand, do not get returned um, when you reprocess the item. So that's why they're kind of separate. Um, it kind of clarifies that. I know the game doesn't really explain it. I actually had to uh, look it up myself. But anyways, that's an important thing to keep in mind. And it also means that um, people before the change, because as of making this video, it's still rather recent. and. Uh, the effects of it will probably continue for a while. Before the change, uh, when they made them more expensive, people knew that the change was coming, so they mass produced them. And when I mean mass, there's immense quantities of the ships that were produced uh, at the cheaper rate and stockpiled for afterwards. So to a certain extent, you're still going to find that a lot of people in EVE are able to sell those ships for cheaper than it would take you as a newer player to produce them. Uh, somebody who didn't produce them beforehand. Um, that's something that'll eventually even out, maybe after half a year, year from now, um, maybe a little bit further until it fully levels. But that's basically 
you know, something that you would never re maybe realize right away in this whole mission change, but something important to keep in mind. And researching stuff like this and knowing the way that the very complex EVE economy changes is actually a very important aspect of industry and business even in EVE Online. It's much, much more in depth than you might think initially just looking at these missions and how they play out. Um, and that's kind of hopefully I think the strongest message I can put across in uh, this chain of missions guide is that, you know, it's beneficial to look up additional sources, especially the you know developer blogs and stuff on EVE Online, the forums, talk to other players, and just knowledge is really power here. Um, but yeah, and, oh, and of course, you know, that plays into manipulating the markets like I was just talking about with everybody who uh, kind of stockpiled beforehand. Uh, but yeah, either way, you just purchase it, and we assembled our Bantam and flew it back to the station, and now we have our Badger. Um, if you still insist on manufacturing it, you're going to have to source some of those minerals, probably, uh, unless you manage to travel quite a bit to another system where you can actually mine things that contain Noxium and the other materials uh, you need in large enough qualities, quantities, sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, you have six hours to do it, so they give you plenty of time. Um, and I think it takes uh, sort of like about 30 minutes to an hour or something to produce the frigate itself, depending on skills. Um, I might be off on that, so I'm not looking up at the uh, source material right away, but... Yeah, I just wanted to mention that if you really still are in town doing it, there is that option.